Okay, so next example. Ang vertex is at negative 4, comma 2. And focus is at negative 4, comma negative 3. So, hanapin uh, daw natin ulit yung standard form. So, again, una yung hanapin uh, is the x and y. Ah, the x and k. So, vertex is always x, comma k. Okay? Which means, ang x, ang h natin is negative 4, comma, ang k natin is 2. So, para may ibalik sa standard form, babagoy natin yung sign. Which means, si negative 4 may giging positive 4, tas didikit kay x. Sa x plus 4. Okay? And then, equals, uh, si 2 magiging negative 2, didikit kay y, so y minus 2. Okay? Hindi pa natin alam kung sino yung naka-square. Mamaya pa natin yung malalaman. And then, uh, ano pa bang gagawin natin sunod? E di igagrap agad natin para makita natin. So, grap natin itong vertex, negative 4, comma 2. Negative 4, comma 2, ito. And this is our vertex. And then, focus is at negative 4, comma negative 3. So, grap natin yun. Negative 4, comma negative 3, ito. Which is our focus. Okay, so ibig din sabihin, laging ang focus ay laging nasa loob ng parabola. Okay, so ang parabola natin bawal dito. Kasi nga dahil nasa loob yung focus. Bawal din pataas. Kasi da, nasa likod yung focus. Bawal din pa right. Kasi nasa dito yung focus. If, which means, ang parabola natin na aganto. Gets? Naka-open downward. And uh, tandaan nyo na uh, if ang x ang naka-square, our parabola will either open upward or downward. Okay? Uh, upward kapag positive yung 4p, uh, downward kapag negative yung 4p. So, dahil dyan, sa itsura ng graph, may uh, nakuha tayong dalawang info na ang x plus 4 ang naka-square, hindi yung y minus 2. Kasi nga, it will open uh, downward. Then, since it will open downward, negative yung 4p. Ang 4p yung number na nakalagay dito. So, negative yun dapat. Gets? So, buburahin ko na to. Kasi nakuha na natin yung dalawang clue. Okay? So, uh, since nakuha na natin yan, let's uh, gawa tayo ng graph. Ganyan. Okay? Uh, bonus, bago natin hanapin yung 4p, hanapin din natin yung directrix. Tandaan nyo na yung directrix ay laging nasa likuran ng vertex. Okay? And yung, yung distansya ng vertex to focus equal siya sa distansya ng vertex to directrix. So, ang distansya ng vertex to focus ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Lima. So, ibig nang sabihin, lima rin sa likod. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, dito yung directrix natin. Na kailangan broken line. Okay? Ngayon, dahil nakuha natin yung directrix na uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, equal. Susulat natin siya. So, our directrix is at, ano yan? Y equal 7. Y, y axis itong pataas, ha? So, is at Y equal 7. So, yun. Nakuha na natin yung is, isa pang info. Kasi baka kailangan ninyo. Okay? And then, kunin din muna natin to Yung axis of symmetry, yung hahati sa parabola sa gitna. So, nahati ang parabola sa gitna at negative 4. So, our axis of symmetry ay x equals negative 4. Gets? Now, all that's left is finding the 4p. Yun nandito. So, tandaan nyo na, uh, wait, 4p hinahanap natin, di ba? Tandaan nyo na, uh, p is equal to the distance between the vertex to the focus. O kaya vertex to the directrix. So, ilan yung distance? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Lima. So, p is equal to 5. Paano natin mahanap ang 4p? <clears throat> mahanap natin ang 4p, multiply. So, 4 times p, p is 5, 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Which means, yun nandito ay 20. Kaso negative nga, dahil doon sa graph. Okay? So, yun na. This is the uh, standard form of this, hyperbola, uh, of this parabola. So, nakuha natin gamit lang yung vertex and focus. So, yun. Uh, if magkakaroon kayo ng exam na ganito yung given, alam nyo na yung gagawin. So, next video, paano naman kung given ang vertex and a point. So, again, yun lang. Salamat.